Each year, people are spending tens of millions of dollars buying oil additives, but are they wasting their money? Would they be better off with just using a synthetic oil? Today, we're going to be comparing Lucas Oil Stabilizer, the synthetic version, against ZMAX. Now, both of these products claim that they will enhance the oil that you've added to the engine. In other words, if you do add a synthetic, they're supposed to make the synthetic even better. If you add a conventional oil, they're supposed to add lubricity. So how do we know they actually work? Well, today we'll be doing a couple of tests. We're going to be using a lubricity tester using room temperature additives in order to determine cold engine start lubrication. How much protection is there when these products are cool? Additionally, we're going to be using these two engines to provide in a very extreme instance. And I mean extreme. We're going to run these engines after they've been pre-treated with these additives. And we're going to run these engines until they self-destruct to determine how much lubrication they provide under the very most extreme conditions. Do they actually lose their film strength? Does the product tend to evaporate or disappear when the going gets tough? Now, I know this is a very extreme test. A lot of people hate to see these engines destroyed. I don't like to destroy them either, but I've had thousands of you ask me to do this type of testing. And out of respect for you guys, I've decided to go ahead and spend the cash to do this. Now, these engines are not going to be totally wasted because what I'll plan to do is to donate these to a school in order for students to put these things back together. They're going to learn a lot about how to put engines together, and there's going to be a lot of goodness that comes from this. I don't know about you, but I've always learned from my mistakes or always learned when I break something how to fix it. I learn more from that than I do from just about anything else. So anyway, back on topic, let's go ahead and see which of these two additives, Z-Max or Lucas, is the best. I've had 10W30 Z-Max and Lucas inside this freezer for right at six hours. So what we do now is a flow test to see how these products flow when they're really cold. You guys have given me some great suggestions on how to improve the test design of the Lubricity Tester itself. So what I'm going to do, instead of using an abrasive wheel, I'll be using 1500 grit, which essentially cleans and polishes the bearing race itself. This is great advice, so thank you for that advice. In fairness to what I did in the past regarding Bestline, SDP, and Lucas, I'm going to repeat the testing I did on the Lubricity Tester. Check out the scorecard at the end of this video. You're going to see how they did compared to... Z-Max as well as Lucas Synthetic. Z-Max does not seem to do very well on the lubricity test itself. There's a lot of damage done to this bearing. Z-Max calls for one part of Z-Max to 10 parts of oil, so I'm going to do that now. All, the bearing all the way to the right is Z-Max, 100%. This is the Z-Max oil mix, and this is just oil, 10W30 conventional. It looks to me like the Z-Max is doing very little for film strength. In fact, there's a tremendous amount of damage, the most damage I've seen in any of the testing to date. The Z-Max oil mix, it just doesn't seem to be doing any good for the oil, doesn't seem to enhance it in any way. So it'll be interesting to see how Lucas Synthetic does compared to Z-Max. Since Z-Max didn't do a very good job in the lubricity test, I decided to do an experiment. This bearing that I'm holding in front of me, I've had inside of a, an old coffee maker for 24 hours. And during those 24 hours, I cycled it off and on 10 different times to cook into the steel to see if that made a difference on the lubricity test. So what we're going to try to do is run this lubricity test again on this bearing that's been in this oil for 24 hours and under over 200 degrees Fahrenheit most of the time to see if it makes a difference. Sure. 
The bearing on the left was pre-treated with Z-Max, allowed to soak for 24 hours. The bearing on the right was not pre-treated. As you can see, the amount of damage is the same. So the purpose of lubricity tester is to measure whether or not these additives reduce friction. Right here in the very front of this bottle it says cuts internal friction for more power, adds needed lubricity to any oil. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try running 100% Lucas to begin with and then we're going to use it per the instructions and go with a 20% ratio of Lucas to oil to see if it can outperform oil when added to it. This is what the bearing looks like after 100% Lucas. The bearing in the lower right is 100% Z-Max. This is 100% Lucas. This is the Z-Max oil mix. This is the Lucas oil mix. And this is just plain 10W30 conventional oil. I'm not seeing any extra lubricity from either of these products. It looks to me like oil is adding lubricity to the Z-Max instead of Z-Max adding lubricity to the oil. The Lucas, on the other hand, seems to have equal lubricity to 10W30 conventional oil. So I just finished breaking these engines in using a non-detergent oil. In the past, I used a detergent oil, and I received a lot of advice to go ahead and use a non-detergent oil for a proper break-in. And what I'm going to do now is drain out the oil of both of these engines while they're still fairly warm. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in 10W30 with Lucas and Z-Max. Z-Max calls for one part of Z-Max to 10 parts of oil. So I'm going to be having 16 ounces of fluid total. So that's one and a half tablespoons. So at this point, we'll be running the engines for three hours. I want to see how the engines perform in regards to temperature, to see how, uh, if they run cooler, warmer, or about the same as with the break-in oil. Okay, I just finished running these engines for three hours with Lucas in one engine and Z-Max in the other. And just to recap what we've done so far, we ran the engines for four hours with non-detergent 30 weight oil, then we drained the oil, then we added the 10W30 Z-Max and 10W30 Lucas synthetic oil to each of these engines respectively. Then we ran up for an additional three hours. Well, according to the MSDS off of the Z-Max website, um, Z-Max is made of white mineral oil, 99%. What I also want to point out about Z-Max is that if you look at the flash point, it's only 270 degrees, which means this stuff is not going to do well under a whole lot of heat compared to, say, regular motor oil. This is the Lucas Pure Synthetic Oil Stabilizer MSDS, and what's the magic ingredient? It doesn't tell us. It just says there's some sort of a mixture. So let's take a look at the physical and chemical properties of Lucas Synthetic. Notice the boiling point is 500 degrees and the flash point is 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So unlike Z-Max that reaches flash point at 270 degrees Fahrenheit, the Lucas Synthetic is designed to take a lot more heat.
only is the connecting rod destroyed, but this engine has seized up. This thing is tight. I'm getting it to move, but it's taking a pounding in order to get it to move. So Z-Max did not provide the same level of protection as we've seen in some of the other additives we've used. So the uh, connecting rod, you can see where it came apart. The piston has a few score marks on it as well. Pretty badly damaged. It's awful stiff as well. So here's an inside look of the engine. So the camshaft doesn't have any sort of abnormal wear. It looks pretty good. So the Lucas engine is not stuck. It is not going to be a problem to push this piston on out. And the amount of scoring doesn't look too bad, actually. So this is the Lucas synthetic piston. You can see there's just a very small amount of scoring on the side of this piston. It actually doesn't look too bad. So there's a little bit of scoring inside this engine, but not very much. Z-Max versus Lucas Synthetic, that was quite the showdown. On one hand, Z-Max seemed to struggle on the lubricity test as well as the engine test only lasting 17 minutes compared to Lucas Synthetic lasting 28 and doing a better job on the lubricity test machine. Also, once the engine self-destructed, we did a teardown and we noticed that the Z-Max piston was pretty tight inside the cylinder. And once we got the piston out, there was a lot of damage to both the piston as well as the cylinder wall. Also, the connecting rod wrist pin area was pretty tight and messed up as well. So anyway, I sort of think that Lucas did a better job, but I'd like to hear your opinions on this. Maybe there's some way I could have done the test differently or done something to help the Z-Max product do a better job. I really enjoy doing these types of videos as far as the engine side-by-side -side testing. I learn a lot from them. I know a few folks out there, probably one or two percent, don't like it because they find this to be a destructive form of testing that doesn't add a lot of value. However, 98, 99 percent of you guys want me to keep doing them. And I do spend a lot of time reading your comments. In fact, I spend um, just probably an hour to two every day reading and replying to comments just because I really want to hear what you guys have to say. I listen and I do react and respond to what you suggest. For example, I improved the way I do the lubricity test because several of you gave me some good tips on how to do that. Anyway, I'm not trying to sell Lucas, Z-Max, or any other product. A lot of you guys have asked me to provide comments on whether or not I think you should buy these products. I don't want to do that because I'm not trying to sell a product. If you buy Lucas or if you buy Z-Max, I don't make a dime. If you choose not to buy them, it doesn't hurt me either. So I really don't care if you buy the products. What I'm trying to do is just do an independent test to determine if these products really work. Anyway, I really enjoy these videos. I hope you'll like, share, and subscribe. If there's something I can do better, I look forward to hearing about that as well. Until next time, please take care, and I look forward to seeing you then.